Just hours ago, a new executive order from Governor Glenn Youngkin took effect combating health care challenges brought on by the pandemic. New at 530, Alex Littlehales breaks down what exactly it is and why health leaders say this move was very much needed. Monday, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin renewed one of his first acts as governor. In late January, Governor Youngkin signed Executive Order No. 11. The order temporarily suspended some regulations and gave hospitals more flexibility to tackle staffing and patient care issues. It would have expired today, but this new order takes effect until March 22nd. The staffing challenges are certainly pronounced all around Virginia at hospitals, although again, it's going to differ from one facility to the next. The Virginia Hospital and Healthcare Association pushed the Youngkin administration to extend these policies. Julian Walker with the VHHA says some challenges haven't changed, even though COVID trends have. The number of patients that are being treated on a daily basis has declined significantly in the last you know, month from a staff perspective and from other resources required to respond to this is, is still significant. Virginia hit an all time peak in hospitalizations this time last month, averaging nearly 4,000 hospitalizations per day. But even though Virginia's COVID hospitalizations and case rates are down, staffing shortages still exist. The renewed policies like added support for telehealth and out of state health care workers provide another month of relief for the state's health care industry. In terms of staffing, in terms of capacity, in terms of flexibilities, uh, you know, on who can administer vaccinations, all of those things are, are welcome and helpful. In Norfolk, I'm Alex Little-Hales for 13 News Now. Spokesperson for Sentara Healthcare, one of the largest hospital systems in Hampton Roads, said the order is, quote, very helpful in supporting staff and capacity resources.